All righty. Welcome everyone to our supercharged Sunday. Um, welcome, audacious, courageous, gracious, always learning, always growing, and preparing for your best year yet, beauty consultants. I hope you had a wonderful holidays and you're looking forward to the new year. Of course, we still have, what do we have? Sunday, rest of Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday to finish off this decade. So I hope you're still working. And whilst you're planning for 2020, I hope you're still planning to finish this year strong, right? We want to see more divas earning these beautiful earrings. Because of course, girls, don't forget, when you earn these this month, that puts you on target for the Career Conference Consistency Challenge, which means that you get to um, earn a piece of jewelry at Career Conference but also you put yourself in the running for coming to the luncheon as well. And no one ever wants to miss out in a luncheon. So do what you can, find a way, make a way to get in those last minute sales, hold those parties, those makeovers, so people look fabulous for their New Year's Eve parties, and you can earn your Be Golden, beautiful little sparkly bumblebee earrings with the tassels. So I am, if I haven't introduced myself yet, I am your Pink Cadillac Director, Eleanor Quinn-Jones, leader of the awesome Lionhearts Unit, and coming to you live this Sunday, the 29th, to the Life Unit for Jane Kaufman, and of course, the More Million Momentum Unit from Kim Moore. So it is my honor and my privilege to share with you tonight. And my topic for this evening is really how to grow and nurture your business by doing the essential step of coaching, okay? And this is something that people can sometimes very easily miss, but it's an integral part of your business. It is what can maximize your time, maximize your effort, maximize your profit, and maximize your future team building, okay? So it's really kind of important. Okay, um, now I'm recording this today. So if you're not watching it live, you can hopefully watch it back. But if you are watching it live, that means that you can ask me questions as well. So ladies who are on right now, I see you've muted yourself. Thank you so much. Don't forget there's the Zoom group chat that you can write a little message to me if you have a question. Okay, so let's get started. Alrighty, this business is super simple, okay, super simple. I'm not saying it's always easy, but it is super simple. It takes effort. And I think effort like anything, you know, um, if you want it to be fit and healthy and to grow, you need to put some effort into that. You need to create the right environment for that to happen, okay? So just as you would like if you were planting a garden, you know, you would water it, you would nurture it. Um, you know, I read an example the other day and it said, you know, a tomato plant is probably going to grow wherever, but a master gardener will give it the right nutrients that it needs to optimize its growth and its flavor and what have you. And no, I'm not growing tomatoes. But it's kind of an interesting thing because you are the gardener of your business. You can make it bloom, you can make it blossom, or you can make it die. <laughs> so you want to be able to make it bloom and blossom and not die. Um, so you can't expect that garden to bloom if you are not giving it the proper nutrients. You have to take control. You have to have a system to make it easy for you and time effective for you. And that's what I'm going to share today. Now, your first system is with booking. And our fabulous half million dollar pink Cadillac director, Kim Moore, um, had some technical difficulties and power outages and all sorts of things last week for Supercharged Sunday. But she has recorded a booking, a power supercharged booking class, especially for you. And that will be available, recorded for you, will be available on your director's Facebook page very, very shortly. So this is kind of the second class to follow that. You've got the booking, now what do you do with that? Okay, what do you do with that, that, that beautiful, make, to make it blossom, that beautiful garden to make it blossom? Um, well, this is how 
he used to break down the next piece. It's called the coaching of it, okay? And there are certain elements and certain things you can do to make sure that party holds and that you maximize your time, your effort, your profit, your sales. So you are the coach and your guests are the players here. And sort of the main player, the team captain, so to speak, is your hostess. So she's the one that you're gonna have most communication with, okay? And she's the one you've really gotta paint the picture to of how this is gonna work. Because here's the deal, she might not have partied before, she might not have had a Mary Kay Beauty experience, or maybe it was very different when she did it before, or maybe she's done at home parties with different direct sales companies, and really most direct sales companies are very different from the way we do things. So you're going to want to have particular talks, pep talks, with your team captain, i.e. your hostess, to make sure she knows what's expected of her and to make sure that she knows what an ideal party would look like, what the average hostess can get. Because there is no woman I have ever met who wants to be less than average. Okay, they want to do more than average. And we want to have more than average hostesses, right? We want to have ones, you know, exceeding and going over and above so that they have outside sales, so that they have guests around the table, so that everyone has fun, and so that it's a really effective party. Okay, I cannot tell you, this is true confessions of a Mary Kay director, um, I can't tell you how many parties and appointments I've had in the past that have canceled or rescheduled because I've not made the time to coach them. Now I know that coaching is important, but sometimes I've thought, oh, well, it's Susie Q. Susie Q knows me. She loves me. She's gonna, she's gonna invite people. No, they don't necessarily know how to invite people. You do not want your hostess calling her friends or texting her friends and saying, hey, um, I'm having a Mary Kay thing and this woman's coming to sell you stuff. Do you want anything? No, that's not gonna excite people to come to your party. So you've gotta coach her, you've gotta give her the tools so she's using the right words to engage and connect with her guests, okay? To make sure that they know that it's gonna be fun, that it's gonna be interactive, that they can earn freebies, you know? And, um, and, and you know, even if they don't have money, it, it, come anyway, because you're gonna have some fun and you feel good. And it's about having some girl time and women being together, because goodness knows, we're usually the ones running ragged after everyone else. So take some me time. We need all of that to be imparted by your hostess. She's only gonna be able to do that if you've had those conversations with her, okay? So, um, so, the most, so an important piece of, of my failures in the past and my reschedules and cancellations because I hadn't made time to book, you gotta make, sorry, you hadn't made time to coach, you gotta make time to coach. And the way to make time is to have a planner or a schedule where you write down the time that you're going to do that coaching, okay? And it's non-negotiable. You know, sometimes I feel that when you work from home or when you, when you have an at-home business like Mary Kay, you know, other people say, oh, well, it's, it's fine. You can just do that anytime. No, you're the business owner and these are your business hours, okay? And yeah, it's lovely that we have freedom and flexibility but your time for coaching should be non-negotiable. Sunday today, I had a late night last night because my husband was playing with his band and it was late and I'm not used to that anymore because I have a good girl going to bedtime. Okay, did I feel like doing coaching calls today? Absolutely not. But I've got a lot of bookings next Friday and Saturday. And I knew that if I didn't take the time to do that today, my next Friday and Saturday was going to be a wash because I needed to start getting people excited about it. I needed to start communication and asking questions and engaging. I needed these people to hear my voice and to hear from me so that I, they were reminded of it and they made the subsequent plans to make it happen. So it's really important that regardless of what you feel like, you're a good boss to yourself. 
Okay. And that means that you nurture your business. So um, coaching is part of the job. When you don't do that part of the job, it breaks down. So let's say you've booked that party. There are a couple of ingredients that I would recommend that you put in place now. Now, both of, um, all, all three of our, us as directors, so Kim, Jane, and myself, we have these tools available. And if they're not already on your, line, uh, on your Facebook group page, so More Million Momentum, um, the, life pay, uh, the Life Unit, and the Lionheart Unit, they will be by tomorrow, okay? There are two packets I recommend. This one, which is a, a power coaching packet. This is for you as a consultant. This is your guide and what gives you the words and the tracking to make sure you've hosted, you've coached that hostess and her guests, okay? The other packet is a hostess packet. And that's the packet you put together to coach the hostess with. They're different. Both direct, uh, all of us as directors have um, accessibility to that and we'll be able to give that to you, okay? Um, I'm wondering if I can actually share my screen today. Um, so when I get to it, I'll try and share it if I can make such technical things happen. So the first thing I do when I book a party, and I tend to book parties from my parties, but also, you know, I'll see people out and about in my life. And, um, or we'll be chatting about Christmas and it comes up and, and we get, we book something for the new year. Okay. What I then do is I write a little thank you card or a little thank you postcard, a little handwritten thank you card immediately. You know, it doesn't take, or it shouldn't take more than three, four minutes to write. Okay. Unless you have teeny weeny little handwriting, but you know, you can space that out, right? Um, and that's huge. Why is that huge? Because number one, when something is written down on paper, kind of more of a bind, it's more of a contract. She's going to take it seriously now. Because before it's either been on text or it's been verbal. Okay. So you're making it, you're making it written down. Okay. That's the number one thing. So it also raises excitement because she can hear how excited you are through your words, you know? Ah, oh, Marcy, I cannot wait to get together with you and your girlfriends. We are gonna have such fun next Tuesday. Thank you so much for being one of my first parties in January. It means so much to me to get together with you and your girlfriends. With that sincere thanks, you know, people are so much more likely to follow through with the things they say they're going to do if they know people are grateful, right? How often have we sort of felt mm, about doing something if somebody's asked us to do it rather more than if we've surprised them with it? You know, sometimes I, I haven't written this down. Where's my brain going with this? I don't know. But, um, you know, often I'll be excited to do something for someone and then um, and, and do it freely and willingly and givingly. And oh, givingly is not a word, Eleanor. And then, um, and, and then if, it, if I sense that they're not grateful or something, it just puts me off doing it. Do you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. So you always want to be sincere. You always want to be super grateful. You always want to speak from your heart. You don't have to write an essay of a little something of your thanks and, and a suggestion of, I can't wait. We are going to have such fun. Because what do women want in their life? They want a bit more fun, especially in January, okay? So, um, so the, the, the other thing it does to help build is your rapport with the hostess. And it sort of helps make them like you, okay? And spoiler alert, I know that might not be a very fashionable thing to say, but here's the deal. A woman will only party with someone she likes and trusts, okay? If she is introducing her close circle of friends and family to you, and then you're mean or you're rude or you're whatever, that reflects on her. 
So she's only going to really invite you into her home and invite her friends to meet you if she likes you, okay? So writing a little note helps her to like you, okay? Because that's that sort of value added. It's, it's, it's the difference of a handwritten note. And Mary Kay was so big on this, you guys. And I know in this day and age of like immediate text and Facebook and all of this, that it is so tempting to just resort to what everyone else does. And you know, there is a place for text and there is a place for Facebook messages. And I'm not telling you that I don't text on Facebook too. I do. But I do as well write a handwritten note because it makes such a difference. And I find that when she knows you've taken the time and the effort, she knows that you're excited. She knows you're going for a goal. You are grateful. She's more likely to work with you, okay? Because she is your team captain. If she senses that you're pushy or you're mean or you're nasty, she's not going to want to work with you, okay? Not that I, I know. <laughs> I know in Mary Kay, we're not pushy and we're not mean and we're not nasty, but um, it's sort of showing that we're different and we take time for her. Um, do you know that Mary Kay Ash, I'm sorry, I've got a tickle. Mary Kay Ash used to keep in her big car stamped, um, stamped postcards and notelet cards so that she could immediately after meeting women, either getting a booking or to thank them for their order, she could immediately write a handwritten note and send it off in the nearest post box so that they would receive it the next day or the day after. She wanted them to have that immediate gratification, okay? Now, I know it's not 1963 anymore, um, but, you know, it's nice to do, go that extra mile. Maybe text as well as send a little note. So, <coughs> the hostess packet. Now, there are lots of hostess packets available, and um, I'll put together a hostess packet that has details of um, how she can invite people, how many people she should invite, how she earns her freebies, um, with outside order forms, with a Mary Kay lookbook or a couple of lookbooks, and um, recruiting information or team building information. I prefer team building information for that. Now, some organized beauty consultants, and maybe you're one, maybe you are totally on top of organization and um, you have a great printer at your disposal and you're like, well, print me happy. I am going to print out hostess packets in advance. I'm going to put them together with a little bow. I'm going to, whatever. Um, what you can do is you can have those ready to go. And all you would do when you book that appointment with the person is write their details in it and be able to give it to them. Have I done something? No. Okay. You're still there. Um, and, and that is great. That is really great if you are that organized. I will confess to you, I am not perfect. And I have never once had prepared hostess packets available. So what, what does that mean? That means that I have to now wait a couple of days and I have to, or rather my hostess does, so she might lose a bit of excitement, and I have to spend money on a stamp, which when you're sending something like this big and a lookbook is over a dollar. So it makes more sense to be organized, ladies. Um, so if you can do that and you're a good Mary Kay Girl Scout, do it. Be prepared, okay? Um, so I've sent her the postcard immediately. And I put together the hostess packet and make it cute. I write her name on it um, in swirly cursive and bright pen. I circle it, I star it, I put post-it notes over it of the bits that I want to draw her attention to. So for me, that's how she can get freebies. Um, I also put little notes in it like, you'll want to invite over 25 people because at this time of year, people are super busy and um, the numbers are that if you invite 25, you probably have six to eight people come. And that's, that's the ideal, six to eight is great. Um, you also want to circle star, you know, anything in the lookbook that was on her wish list. So when she wrote all the things that she loved in Mary Kay on her profile, then, you know, you can, you can highlight those and put post-it notes in the lookbook and say, wouldn't you love to get this for free? Um, you're exciting her. You know, this packet is supposed to excite her. 
Now, what do I do to make it exciting? Well, um, I have little stickers that I put on the back saying happy mail. I mail um, them in bright pink envelopes, which I get cheap from Amazon. You don't have to do that, but I want it to be visually exciting when it comes through that door, okay? Or when it comes in her mailbox, you know? You don't want it to be tossed aside with junk mail, right? You want it to stand out. You know, you might also, my um, Mira Case Sales Director, Sandy has been my senior. She, when she sends me something in the mail, she'll write to the amazing Eleanor Quinn Jones. And I know she probably writes to the amazing to everyone, but you know, it really like hugs my heart. And I'm like, oh, that's so nice. How often do we have people address mail to us like that? We don't, do we? That's something extra that you can do. I make it exciting. Um, and then I tell her, because it's really important we communicate on this. I tell her when she can expect to hear from me. So when we can, when we can organize having a chat and a chat over the phone is always so much better, you guys, than a chat via text. Okay. Um, because she hears your voice. She hears how excited you are. And you similarly hear how excited she is. Um, and if you discuss times and dates and whatever over the phone, I'll then text it just to be clear so we both have something to go back and refer to. Okay, thanks for, thanks for the chat. It was so great to hear your voice. I'm so excited to party with you. And um, just to confirm, so I have it written down for me, it is this date at this time at this location. Great. Um, so I'll tell her in the packet and whatnot when I need her guest list by. And I'll come back to that. But it's super important that you schedule a date to chat so when you can dot the I's, cross the T's, okay? Um, now, that's all well and good, right? But what happens if she doesn't wanna give you a guest list? Or she's not all that forthcoming with a guest list? Well, you know what, you guys? A guest list and getting in advance can really affect the success of the party. Because if you haven't coached the people who are going to the list, right? If you haven't coached them, how do you know if they're gonna how do you know if they're gonna show up or not? You don't. How do you know how you can prepare for them? You don't. You haven't started building a rapport with them, so you're strangers. Um, but coaching and pre-profiling in advance circumvents that. This power booking plan tells you exactly how to do that. Even has in this power booking plan little templates of like pick large. Instead of being wordy, wordy, wordy text, you could send a little picture. That's a picture of you. Maybe you have a picture of you and the hostess. That's even better. You know, if you've booked her from a booking, take a photograph of you both. Okay, it makes so much of a difference. Um, so you lose your control over the party when you don't coach. So instead, coach. And what I do is I include in my hostess plan as an incentive to get the guest list, uh, an extra freebie, okay? If she gives me the guest list by a certain time, okay? A certain date. Um, and if she has a certain number of names on that guest list. If she has 25 names on that guest list, by Tuesday, I'm gonna give her an extra blank free, okay? Now, what's a good blank free? Well, anything that you know she might want that's already in your inventory and at a certain price point, or if you don't have inventory right now, or she, maybe she doesn't know Mary Kay so well to get excited about it yet, right? You could say, you know, if she gives you that guest list of 25 ladies by certain date, you're going to give her an extra $20 gift card for free. Now, here's the deal with that. Um, oh, this isn't in my notes here. I think I've written it later. But $20 might seem like, oh, gosh, I don't want to give another $20. But $20 gift card in Mary Kay product is really $10 to you. And is it worth $10 to you to receive 25 names and to, um, of those 25 names, maybe six with coaching will show up. The average a woman will spend around the table is $100. So that's 
$300 profit. So 10 of that you'd have been giving away for that, to get that guest list. Do you think that's worth it to profit $290? Right. Um, also, you know, not all of those women will be able to come, but you will have future business and future potential um, facial ease or party holders when you have those names and you can try and build a rapport with them and follow up with them. So it is so worth getting the guest list. Now, this conversation is best to have on the phone um, when you're talking about the guest list and going through that, it's best to have her on the phone, okay? And it's best to talk through the hostess packet with her to make her aware of what's available to her, okay? This is really important because I've sent out those happy packets before. I remember I drove through a snowstorm, right? And I drove two hours um, up to New, New York, and, um, and I got there and she was a really nice woman. You know, I knew she was busy. She has lots of kids and we'd texted back and forth, but I never asked her the important question. Did you receive and open the hostess packet? And at the end of the party, you know, I said to her, well, you know, did you start to look at what you wanted in the hostess packet? And she goes, what hostess packet? And I said, oh, you didn't get those. You know, it was the pink packet. She goes, oh. Yeah, it's here in the cupboard. And she took it out, she never even opened it. No, it was a fine party. It was a fun party, but you know, it made me realize people don't necessarily open what's in front of their nose. You have to coach them through it, okay? Particularly when they're a busy mom with lots of other things going on, okay? Show them what's the priority. Guest list, what do you want free? This is how we invite people, okay? Um, so when I get her on the phone, I ask her questions. Hey, Marcy, did you receive your happy packet in the mail? Are you excited to get a free shopping spree? And I kind of steamroll up one question into the other. Because if you say, oh, did you receive your happy packet in the mail? Pause. This gives her now enough time to say, oh, yeah, I did. You know, it's just not going to work for me, you know. But immediately you're coming in with what's in it for her. You know, did you, did you know what you want to get free for your free shopping spree? You kind of steamroll that. You're reminding her of the freebies and what's in it for her. And they just say, great. Well, as you'll see on page three, you can get up to $100 in free Mary Kay of your choice. So if you were to earn full freebies, and let me tell you, most of my hostesses do. The average hostess will get $100 free. What do you think you would want? And you write that down so you can remind her of it. Okay, and then you go over the details, the party details. You go over the guest list, um, and as I say, you you might have to leverage freebies. And I I'll tell you that Jane Kim and I we give a lot away in gift cards just to get in front of people. Not even for parties, but when we work doing bridals, you know, we give gift cards, and we leverage that so that we can meet people, and so you know we we get the opportunity to be in front of people. You know, so it is worth being generous. It is worth being kind to people. Okay, I've gone the wrong way in my notes. I'm sorry. There's still more to come. I know we're a little over time, but we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, yeah, remember it pays to be generous. So when you connect with those guests, um, you've now got the guest list, okay, ideally. Um, it has this whole great section in this power coaching plan where it gives you sample scripts of what you can say. I will engage with my guests, and most of it, because people don't answer numbers they don't know, I'll text them first, and I'll include in that text a little picture of me and the hostess, or if I don't have one of us together, just me with a little text invitation. I will ask if she has a few minutes to chat, or if text is better. Most commonly, they will say text. But if I do get the chance to talk to someone on the phone, that really helps build a rapport. Just hearing your voice is so valuable, you guys. Um, so I connect and I start building in that way. So I know who I'm expecting to be in front of. And that way you're already building that relationship. So when you come around the kitchen table or the dining room table, you've already established that trust. She knows who to expect. 
she's seeing your face. You know, you might even get the chance to find some common ground there. You know, oh, is that a baby I hear in the background? Or, oh, is that a dog? Do you have a dog? You know, find out what you can about her, you know, in addition to her skin. You know, she should be more than just a face to you, <laughs> right? She, a human being. And what human beings really lack in this day and age of social media is a real connection. Real connection. Not just Facebook likes, real connection. And that's the difference with Mary Kay. That's what we do. We don't just sell people things. We get to speak to them. We get to learn what makes their heart pound. We get to know them over that kitchen table. It's such an intimate thing when somebody takes off her makeup and she's there in front of you, vulnerably in front of you. You know, that's, that's a relationship that you build. And when you do it well, that customer will be a customer for life or a great hostess or even a great team member. Okay, um, coaching is really important with the hostess if you want to receive a lot of outside orders. And that's a great way to drive up your wholesale, your profit, your recruiting. Why? Because when the hostess collects, say, $200 from her friends who couldn't make it, and she sees how much money you make around the kitchen table, $600 maybe, then she's going to see how simple this business is. And she's really going to question why she's not doing it for herself and why you're making the money from her and all her friends when she could do it too, right? So outside orders are a huge part of that. And I'll often incentivize again, I'll leverage a freebie that I know she wants or a gift card to up her freebies when she gets outside orders. Um, now that would rarely happen unless you would coach her and tell her on the phone what to expect. You're going to paint the picture of what amazing hostess you know she's going to be. For example, now Marcy, there are going to be close friends who can't make it. So when guests tell you they can't make it and they decline, here's what the best hostesses say. I totally understand. And of course, you'll be missed. You'll, uh, but if you want to participate virtually, of course, anything you might want or need um, from the book or from Eleanor's website counts. No pressure. I just know how rare it is to find quality skincare at such an affordable price. So if you want to benefit, here's the link or here's a book or whatever. You also want to follow up um, with the guest list, even with those who aren't coming, because you might be able to book them for future appointments when you build that rapport, okay? That's future business for you. Don't let that go. Don't leave that on the table. That's a warm referral, okay? You have people in common who know you now. That is a warm referral. Um, so lastly, how, um, how I excite, okay, hang on. Lord, what am I trying to say here? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I will, when I connect with them, the guest list, and I put together a little pic a picture of me, and I'll say how I'm excited to meet them at Sally's party or whenever it is. I'll say, do they have a quick mode to chat or text? And then I want to ask them specific pre-profiling questions about their skin as well, okay? And if they've ever tried Mary Kay before. All of these, as I said before, are available, these scripts in this power coaching. Now, when people say, oh, I'll just do it over Facebook, if you're not friends with that guest on Facebook, she's not necessarily going to see your message, okay? If you send her a Facebook friend request, she's not necessarily going to accept it. So what I suggest to my hostesses that insist on doing everything through Facebook um, I will ask her to introduce me on a Facebook Messenger thread because that way the person I don't yet know um, is going to be able to see her introduce me. And that sort of means that she'll then see my message thereafter. So that's a great way to sort of circumvent any Facebook problems there. Last but not least, when you're at the party, take party photos. Um, big up the hostess with affirmations. That's huge. Do that around the, t the party table and other people will want to book you for future parties. But also, if you have a private Facebook group, um, and you all should have a private Facebook group, 
for your Mary Kay customers that talks about all the things that you're excited and interested in, not just Mary Kay. But when you have a party, put up some fun photos and affirm your hostess. Say, oh my goodness, my hostess of the week is Marcy. And I met Marcy through a mutual friend of ours and she was such fun to get together with. She's such a great, warm-hearted woman, She's so welcoming and truly has, um, has a servant's heart. I had such fun at her party and I'm so glad that she was able to get a free shopping, a complete free shopping spree with me. That kind of affirmation of your hostess in your private Facebook group makes other people say, oh, wow, you know, it's so rare that women get praised. And that's so nice of Eleanor to praise Marcy, but I, I kind of could do with that kind of affirmation and praise too. Maybe Eleanor would come and party with me. Yes, yes, I will. Okay, so don't forget to use that um, platform because um, others on your page will want to be praised too. And then they're more, far more likely to book you. Okay, so remember, it's all about communication and connecting, connect, making those real connections with your hostess and her guests. That is what coaching is. All the information will be available to you in the power booking plan, coaching plan rather, and the hostess packet. And that is available on, um, if not today, it will be available tomorrow on your private Facebook page. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me this evening. Um, I, unless you have any questions here now, I can't see any at the side. I hope that all made sense. I'm sorry I was reading from my notes so much. Um, but I hope that blesses you. I hope that helps you. And I hope you max out your bookings and your coaching for the next few days because truly there's a lot that we can still get done before the clock strikes midnight on Tuesday the 31st of December. You have time and you can do it. See faces, they will take you places. Good night from me at the Lion Hearts HQ here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Be safe, be warm, and go share some Mary Kay love with some lovely ladies. Good night from me.